Okay, so you, you can see the moon here. This is from the uh, the 2nd of January at 2.18 in the morning. <clears throat> now, the colours around it, th this is the night of the wolf moon slash super moon. Um, I don't know where the name wolf moons come from. That's a totally new thing to me. Uh, you can see the wobbling there from the moon. This is something I've shown in my videos before. Later on in this video, I will show you as well that um, the tripod it was set up on and everything, and you can see it's filmed from inside. So um, this night wasn't a windy night. Um, the night coming up now, this was the night after, although it's still the second of January here. Uh, but this is at uh, quarter past ten at night. All times are in Greenwich Mean Time. Um, now, this was a windy night, and again, I was filming from inside, uh, filming out of a window, uh, but the camera was set back from the window. It wasn't being affected by the wind. Uh, even if it was outside, it wouldn't have been affected by wind. Uh, and you can see it's it's jerking, it's moving backwards and forwards uh, this is from the 4th of January and this this is bizarre to me, I mean look at the the shape of that, it's like some sort of egg or something um, it, it's eclipsing at the wrong angle for me anyway nowadays uh, but, but if you look on the right hand side there it's quite straight up, the very far right from the center up, and then it, it comes over in a curved arc. It's bizarre to me that because if it is the Earth that's eclipsing it, you know, and, and, and putting the shadow on it, then it looks wrong. Look at the crater at the top. Uh, look at the patterns on the moon, um, at the face that's showing in the moon there. Uh, the big crater, hexagon shaped crater um, something M.A.'s mentioned a lot in his videos as well the, these craters now all seem to be hexagon shaped uh, go back to the 2nd of January at 2.32am um, now this is a still shot taken and look at those patterns there then look at this one from 10 past, well, 12 minutes past 10 later on that night, the same day, but and it's, it's tilted upwards more, and then here it's spun round a hell of a lot um, from the 4th. Uh, I couldn't get any footage on the 3rd because it was too cloudy. Uh, again, this, this now is from the... Um, the second at 2.33 a.m. And with the clouds going over, it, ju it just helps to show some of the details in the moon better. Um, I mean, look on the far left-hand side there. It's got the big smile thing going around. Um, that wasn't there at all some time back. much more patterns on the moon now um, than I ever remember before it used to be quite plain you literally had the man in the moon and Tycho Crater and Sea of Tranquility and now you've got so much detail in there So there's the moon in the sky, a few clouds going by at the moment. This is the setup with the tripod and the camera, all very stationary. But look at the moon there. Took stabilisation up so that it doesn't try and correct it. Uh, get a proper angle here. 
shaking back and forth. Uh, I've just been on the phone to Mandela actually and he's also noticed this. And this is the, uh, the little telescope on it. So we'll reposition this now, but as you can see it's moving a lot there when it just shouldn't be. Zoom in a bit more on it. But as you can see there, the tripod's stationary, everything's stationary, it's the actual image on the phone that's moving. 